It literally is the 1984 theme song, and I'm really it pissed is. about it. <laughs> That's literally. So, it's just control. That's all it is. It's yes. control. <laughs> that, it pisses me off. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I'm getting riled up, guys. Okay. I, I knew it was going to do it. I knew this was going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you brainwashed? I don't know if you would know if you were. True. We're about to find out from Tom McDonald in <laughs> Brainwashed. My name's Jacob. This is Victoria. <laughs> and this is Ignite Fire. Guys, we've done this video reaction before with another guest on our podcast uh, named Third Day. He's a, a a rapper. Yeah. A Christian rapper. And now, we because somebody had mentioned it in our last video, we got Victoria in and we're going to watch this again. So I've seen this before, but she has not. <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of excited to see her reaction to certain aspects that Tom's going to be talking about in this video. And since I've watched this a couple of times, I think I'm going to be able to kind of Yeah, you'll hit. be able to catch more than yeah. I will, but yeah. But I want to see your reaction to this too. Totally. And I think our audience wants to see your reaction to this oh also. Because <laughs> somebody had mentioned in the comments that this would be the 1984 like theme song. You've got to be kidding me. So, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> And I think I'm buckling up. <laughs> yeah, we got to buckle up, ladies Woo! and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get into this video reaction of the theme song for 1984. Here we go. Channeling my inner Orwell right now. Half the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics, oh. celebrity gossip, popular neat quotes. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. <laughs> the most dangerous <laughs> pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only mass is gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police. Need to defund the media who lies through their teeth like Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Because every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. And big oil mm. runs the world. The only wars that get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him claiming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash. He's a racist. He's a bigot. He's a monster. Oh my Let's gosh. just have the conversation. Mm -hmm. Not every liberal is dumb. Not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. Eee! They can't stop us because mm. we're ready to fight. Trying to brainwash us, but we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. It's kind of catchy. Yeah, it is. Just against them, it ain't you against me. How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in oh, the water that's oh, keeping us all asleep. There's the, 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 <laughs> there's the sheeple line. Uh huh. <laughs> Y'all are sheeple. No, yeah, this is, oh my gosh. There were a lot of like little details that were like standing out to me. Um. Oh my gosh. But uh, one of the first things was like the eyeballs on the TVs. Oh, I yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. the yeah. thought police are coming for you. Um. But yeah, just like that. Oh, and, and and it's television, and I think in social media that everyone's eyeballs are watching. That they're glued. is, yeah, they're 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 giving the messages that are enslaving people. Oh. Uh. Ah. In the sheep, they put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Claim they want what's best for us. I find it hard to believe because they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18. <laughs> fake news, fake woke, distract and divide. You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white. Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life because the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device. And I don't know what I'm a sick of. Rappers, <laughs> oh, no Biden looking like he ate 100 Xanax for dinner. Because censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign ballistic missiles. You don't trust the <laughs> Police are the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why would you be comfortable if police and the government the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? White privilege getting amplified to reinforce the vision. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Oh, I'm going to pause it. Yeah. Oh, maybe I won't. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, this is all really interesting. <laughs> Basically, just like what I'm, what I'm getting from this uh, mostly is just the fact that um, the government's like dividing us so that we can't revolt. Oh yeah. Because we're too busy like uh -huh. doing this at each other. We can't do it to mm -hmm. the government. Right. So it's like, Oh, it's that, that weird, interesting. Like he was saying with the, 
with the guns, taking away the oh, um, yeah. ability to own a gun. Like, why are we comfortable with the police being the only ones having that? Mm-hmm. Right? Like, they're, it, they don't even like come as quick as we need them to most of the time. <laughs> it's like, I, I have so much respect for the police and just like, we, they should be there. They should, you know, be funded properly and they yeah. need to be trained properly and all that stuff. However, they're, they're not going to get to our house quickly enough a lot of times to defend us. Yeah. Right. So it's like, we need to learn how to defend ourselves. And we, if we don't have a gun on hand when they probably do right. When the, um, invaders or mm-hmm. like whoever probably does have a gun like we don't then what can we do we can't yeah. do anything yeah right so it's like it's just this um destruction <laughs> that's happening right and then we like but we're too busy doing this yeah at one another yes over skin tone mm-hmm. and then oh, oh another thing he was saying to you sorry i'm getting no, like, yeah, really go, go up. <laughs> and so um when he was saying to you about like the the one day a year to honor veterans oh yeah and then this like month, the so many dates throughout the year to celebrate. <laughs> the was it LGBT yeah. alphabet mm-hmm. religion? <laughs> yeah, literally, that's what it is. Rainbow religion, something like that. Yes. Um, it's just like there's there's so much dis- disproportion here. Oh like yeah. The values are not what they should be. Mm-hmm. Right. The priorities are just way off track. Oh it's yeah. It's jacked up. Um, Ta- talking about yeah. pri- uh, values. Okay, this is this was blowing my mind. I think there were students, but they had three black students, right? One was a Republican and two Democrats. Mm-hmm. And they're asking them, who are you Who are you voting for, right, kind of thing. And, of course, the Republicans like, I'm voting for Trump. Mm-hmm. And then the other two, they were leaning now towards mm-hmm. Trump, right? And it was just uh-huh. this eye-opener. Yeah. What I didn't understand, and it just made no sense, was one of the young ladies that was in the middle said she was not liking what Biden was doing, mm-hmm. but she was still going to vote Democrat. Talk about brainwash. She was still going to vote Democrat because she didn't like that Trump was immoral. But yet she was just saying before that how she wants someone that will give her the ability to or the right to eradicate her own child like abortion. Like she wanted someone to impact her right to choose as a woman. Mm -hmm. And then she turns around and talks about Trump's morality. I'm like, wait a minute. You're, you're trying to say that, you know, taking the life of a child is not moral, but then yet, you know, look at Trump as immoral. This, this is the idea of brainwashing. Mm -hmm. And then, and then the, the other guy that was a Democrat, I'm leaning towards Trump because I could just see, Mm -hmm. you know, the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, I don't know the statistics of it, but there's, there were saying that, um, before, um, there was 5% of black males that were, you know, voting Republican. And now it's jumped to like 16%. Wow. The men are waking up, but then they're saying the women. (laughs) He's the Lord. <laughs> They're saying oh the women gosh. are still emotional and, you know, still manipulated. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I'm sorry. I have to mention this. I was joking with a friend the other night um, and he had like just jokingly texted me something and I was like, oh, you're not affirming me enough. Like I was just, <laughs> guys, I was just, I was pretending to be a liberal. Like That's I was just, funny. you know, trying to, you know, be goofy. And he was like, where did this liberal Vicky come from? Like, this is so weird. I was like, I'm cringing at myself right now. Like, trust me, because <laughs> everything I was saying was very like feelings, feelings, feelings. And I That's was like, this funny. is so unnatural. <laughs> and you know, it's really easy to be liberal or democratic. You just have to not make sense and then scream a lot. And then you're, you're a Democrat. <laughs> there you go. Shoot. I'm glad it's easy for some of y'all. I know. <laughs> to be brain dead. Jeez. <laughs> Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb. Not all Republicans are racist. Uh, I guess that's true. The Whatever. government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. Yep. There it is. Against us. Because we're ready to fight. Trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, it ain't you against me. Step one. Okay, hold on. Before we get into where he starts t- saying step one. Okay. I'm really excited to see 
your reaction to this. <laughs> so we're going to set the camera on Victoria. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> and we are going to play this because this is really good. Tell me. I want to see what you think okay. about this. You against me. Step one. Train the people only to consume. Step two. Infiltrate adults with the news. Step three. Indoctrinate the children through the schools and the music and the apps on the phones that they use. Step four. Separate the right from the left. Step five. Separate the white from the black. Step six. Separate the rich from the poor. Use religion oh. and equality to separate them more. Step seven. <laughs> fabricate a problem made a lie. Step eight. Put it on the news every night. Step nine. When people start to fight and divide, take control. This is called situational design. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. I when I when I first heard this, I was like, Tom, you're, oh my you're gosh, kicking like, the hornet's nest. Yeah, that's a that's a sore spot for sure. <laughs> Holy smokes, but that was all like so mm -hmm. accurate though. <laughs> Having spiritual eyes to see what's really oh my happening. Gosh. Tom, you got some spiritual eyes, bro. You got the like, gift. Yeah. You, oh my gosh. You saying Sorry, it. can we listen to those steps one more time? Yes. I thought that was really, really interesting. Yes. Let me see. And when he Trade said the, adults with the news step. Oh no, let's go back a little bit further. When he said like the indoctrinating students in the schools, I was oh, like, mm, there yeah. it is. Oh yeah. The whole world's brainwashed. It's against them, it ain't you against me. Step mm. one. Train the people only to consume. Step two. Infiltrate adults <gasps> with the news. Step Sorry. three. Okay, that's. I was trying to remember what the first step was. Train everybody to consume, consume to so only poor. consume. Yeah, so they have this dependence on the government, mm -hmm. so they can't do anything independently. Mm -hmm. That's well. That's it because that's. Like <laughs> I knew. I knew this was gonna. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be a good one coming out. Um. No. Yeah. Literally, because if it's like if there's too much government, uh -huh. if all people are doing is depending on government to, um. The pay for their food, mm -hmm. those stupid food stamps, just like all, all these different things, and then be in charge of students' um, education, mm -hmm. uh, be in charge of the news. It's like they're enslaved. Everybody's enslaved. They're mm -hmm. being indoctrinated, and then agendas are just so easy to keep track of. Yes. Right? That there's no freedom of speech. Nobody, oh. like, has different opinions about everything. It literally... It literally is the 1984 theme song, and I'm really it pissed is. about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally... Yeah, because in... I'm sure I've explained this so many times, uh -huh. um, but with 1984, it's like um, somebody even like put down a quote uh, from it in one of our last videos. But um, it was like, if you can, if you can control the past, you can control the future. Oh, yeah, the narrative. And that's what people are doing right now. They're trying to change the history of America. Yeah. Yes. Right. And it's like. Arr! So there's just this dependence on the government for everything right now. Yeah. And it's like. <laughs> Okay. What, what I don't understand, what, <laughs> and talking about that, like mm -hmm. I don't, I was just listening to another podcast with uh, the Hodge twins and Officer Tatum, and Officer okay. Tatum was saying, which is crazy because they, because uh, I believe the black community is very a very strong community. I, I just want wow. to it, uh, lift you guys up, and and uh, one of the things that Officer Tatum was saying was he doesn't understand how it is that most black people are Democrats mm -hmm. because the Democratic Party was the party that was enslaving them. And it was the Republican Ooh. Party that was setting them free. And yeah, then, but then you're the, so right. And and in history, uh, for some somehow Whoa. they started changing the narrative and then it like flipped mm -hmm. somehow. And wow. so it just, I was like, what the mm -hmm. heck? You know, it's just crazy. So it's just control. That's all it is. Yes. It's control. Yeah. That it pisses me off. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go. We'll probably go step, step by step. Step by step. <laughs> yeah, probably. Soon step two. Infiltrate adults with the news. Step three. Uh, indoctrinate the children through the schools and the music and the apps on the phones that they there. do. Step TikTok. TikTok. Yep. Yeah. TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> That's all it is. Oh my gosh. Every time no. I, I hear TikTok, I, I I think of Andrew Tate like TikTok. You have TikTok brain. Your mind has been assassinated by the algorithms. You sit there scrolling. This is the average person's life. He sits there. He gets his phone. TikTok, 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 TikTok. Girl on Instagram. Hi. She doesn't reply because he's a loser. Another girl. Hey. Doesn't reply because he's a loser. TikTok, TikTok. I'm motivated. I want to be better. Okay, you have to do this. It's really hard. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> TikTok. That's funny. 
Um, but that even reminds me of um, Tom's song with with another dude. It was like Blame the Rappers oh, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like it's the influence that the music industry has on mm-hmm. kids that ha- has on adults, too. That oh, it's yeah. like it's changing the way that people think about these situations. That's why I love what Tom's doing, because he's calling yes. out the crap. Yes. Right. But all these other people are not so much. They're just, like playing part in the crap. So they're just part of it. They're, they're a little stinky. They've already they've been sold out. <laughs> They've been sold out. They've been sold out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm getting riled up, guys. Okay. I, I knew it was going to do it. I knew this was going to do it. Into the schools and the music and the apps on the phones that they use. Step four, separate the right from the left. Step mm-hmm. five, separate the white from the black. Step six, separate the rich from the poor. Use religion and equality to separate them more. Step seven, fabricate a problem made a lie. Step eight. Oh, fabricate a problem. Oh, I didn't even catch that. <laughs> I didn't either. The first time. Fabricate, Fabricate a problem, made a lie. Step eight. Wait. Put it on the TV. Fabricate a problem, made a lie. Step eight. Put it on the news every night. Step nine. Mm. When people start to fight and divide, take control. This is called situational design. <gasps> oh, they can't stop us. Because we're ready to fight. Trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Brainwashed. Everybody take a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. The eyeballs! (laughs) You against me. Yeah, that one's, uh, that one's, (laughs) that's probably one of my favorite ones of Tom McDonald. (laughs) Well... I'm feeling encouraged. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but dang, that's, oh, man. Y'all knew this was going to rile me up. Uh-huh. Now I'm all like, ah. Uh huh. Doesn't help that I have an energy drink in my hand. But <laughs> and we're like dude, feeling it now. I know, literally. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I hope y'all weren't disappointed by yeah. this review. This is crazy, though. No, I, I enjoyed your reaction. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> So this Wowzer. was good. This was good. Ooh, dude. Um, and guys, th- and we love you guys. We want to thank you guys for watching, subscribing, for uh, putting comments down in the description. Yeah. And also for your guys' super thanks. That is super encouraging. We appreciate you guys. And if there's things that you guys want Victoria to react to. Um, we have a list. <laughs> I, I think you know what's rally, what will rile her up. So go ahead and send us those those uh, ideas. Uh-huh. And, and, and we're and we're kind of selective, too, on what we react react uh just for those that are that are leaving suggestions if you're trashing on tom mcdonald like somebody left a a video uh to review and it was somebody that's actually a trash talker against mm-hmm. tom mcdonald i'm like mm-hmm. nah i don't want to yeah. i don't want to listen to those or promote those um even if they have a good message mm-hmm. and if there's a lot of cussing in it i can't we Ugh, can't really yeah we don't do that friends no sorry no, no. and i mean so, so if there's some some words that are dropped we'll we'll block it out if it's a decent song but i mean tom yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and i'm grateful that he blo- he mm-hmm. blocks out a lot of words if they if they're if they're dropped and like you know they're being said yeah <laughs> but <laughs> like on the last they're one <laughs> <laughs> so we appreciate that and uh um, yeah, guys, we want to thank you guys. Um, any last words before we go? No, I don't think so. Um, 1984 is coming. Oh, prepare but, yourself, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I wanna... But don't lose hope because yeah. Jesus is coming. Yeah. And we, you know, are fighting the good fight. Yeah. With Jesus. There's, there's a there's a I can't remember who quoted it, but it was from the Patriots of the early America in the early time mm-hmm. of America. Yeah. And they were ministers and they were political. Mm-hmm. And they said, hey, we're going to have our muskets in one hand and our Bibles in the other. Praise! And they're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that song. I'm traumatized by that song. Doing it seven times for Easter was like oh, a no-go. Dang. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, stay stay ready. Stay prepared. Have your muskets in one hand, your Bibles in the other, and mm-hmm. we'll stay together, lock arms, and fight not against each other, but against yes. the real enemy, which yes. is Satan. And he's using people and controlling them like puppets. So we got to make sure that we have our spiritual eyes open. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, God loves you. We love you. Until next time, God bless.